through an amazing twist of I don't know what, um, I am going to be seeing the Heel Goats, Plants and Animals, and Clem Snide at the High Noon Saloon in Madison, Wisconsin tonight. I am so incredibly excited about it, I can't even tell you. Um, thanks to the marvelous Bruce Rosendahl. Um, yeah, I'm going. I'm psyched. I, uh, I didn't think I'd be able to go because the concert is actually, um, or show, or sorry, it's a show, uh, is tonight at 11. And I live about an hour and a half away, and I have to work in the morning, but I was able to get off. Apparently I've worked there long enough to have accrued time off. Like, how cool is that? I can't find anyone to go with me. Um, so that sucks. I'm going alone. But, uh, whatever, man. You know? More music for me. Uh, I'm primarily excited to be going to be able to see Clem Snide because, um, they... Uh, they, I mean, they haven't, they haven't been touring in years, they weren't really doing anything together for a while, um, and then they just released Hungry Bird, which if you're a Clemside fan uh, and you don't own it already, you should get it. It is available on iTunes or on CD, and now it is also available on vinyl. I don't have mine here with me yet, but if I did, I would hold it up and show it to you proudly because I'm super excited. And the thing is, I've got stuff going on, so it's kind of hard for me to get there in time for the opening of the show anyway, but, um, and, and I, I hate it when people go to a show and they only get there in time to see the headliner. You know, they skip the opening acts, and I, I hate that. Or if they're only there for the opening acts and then they see them and then they ditch. Like, that kind of bugs me. I mean, you don't have to stay and you don't have to get there early, but it bugs me if you don't see the whole thing. Um, Except in my case, because I totally have an excuse. I'm busy and I live far away. But uh, then I was looking up information about the two opening acts and um, the, uh, one of them, the Gila Goats, and I'm really sorry if I'm saying that wrong. It's spelled H-E-L-I-G-O-A-T-S. Um, I've just never heard it pronounced. Chris Otepka, who's the former lead singer of Troubled Hubble, um, this is his, like, solo project. And I knew that they had they'd stopped doing stuff together in, um, 04, 05, maybe? Uh, Troubled Hubble, by the way, fantastic. Listen to them. But, uh, anyway, I figured he'd probably be doing something on his own, because he's amazingly talented. Uh, I mean, all those guys were. What a fun group to see live. Um, but sure enough, this is what he's up to, and I'm so excited to see that he is touring with Clem Snide. Um, because, man, that's like the best company you can keep, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, yeah, so now I like have to get there in time to see the opening acts, because, oh my god, like how cool is that, right? So, um, yeah, High Noon Saloon, headed there tonight. I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited! Um, I'm so excited! So I will bring this with me and, uh, yeah. See what we can see. Word. So, uh, initial reflections upon leaving the show. It was wonderful and a lot of fun. And uh, it was cool because I haven't seen them play live in so long. And it was great because being there, just standing there and hearing the same songs, but hearing them live and feeling the music, you know, the, the bass and the way it fills the room and the way it makes the floor vibrate and the pillars shake and everything. I mean, it's, it's this amazing feeling. Like, I mean, it's just, it was so good. And, um, really happy to see my car hasn't been broken into. See, that's a problem. I don't know where I am, so I don't know if it's a bad neighborhood. I don't think so, though. So, it was just, it was absolutely incredible. And they, uh, they played a set, and it seemed really short. I was like, what? 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 Uh, and, um, then it turned out that, uh, they were coming back out for an encore that I thought would be, you know, a song or two, but, um, it turned out to be you know, like a whole, like a whole additional set. A lot of songs off the new album. Uh, they did play Me Know, which was 
fantastic. I was really hoping they would play that um, in addition to Endless Endings, which uh, would have been great to hear. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. It was it was cool, but it's I don't know. Like without somebody here with me, it's hard to talk about. I got some I got some pictures, which was cool, but uh, I was the one taking them, so that means I'm in the middle of them, and so like in a lot of them, it's just me that you're seeing. And that sucks. I don't want a picture of me. I know what I look like. <sighs> Whatever. Uh, so now it's time to figure out how to get out of Madison and get home. <laughs> oh god, this will be fun. Okay, bye. Better. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah.